Hey everybody, Pinsetter here. Uh, this video is a little bit different. Uh, I'm actually working on a random project that just kind of sparked in my head. Basically, I have a lot of scrap metal lying around and I wanted to make something out of it, so I figured I'd film the process. And the whole idea is I'm trying to make a robot. I don't have a ton of ideas at the moment on exactly what this is going to look like, but I have been experimenting a lot with stuff and kind of drawing a few things out to give myself some ideas. And I've also been taking pieces of metal and I've been doing a rusting process to add this cool patina to it. I was able to turn the copper, this is a piece of uh, this copper, I was able to get this awesome blue out of it. So I've been messing with that. Oh, somebody's texting me. My fiance. These are from a screen door, sliding screen door replacement kit. Um, so I think those will be his wheels. And he'll kind of stand like that. He'll have two of these. And he'll probably be able to roll around. That's the idea that I have. This will probably be part of his head. And I also have just lots of scrap copper and stuff that I'm going to be working with. So I will keep you guys posted on how this turns out. So I got these little wheels on and it stands up now. Uh, I just used the JB Weld which seems to be working very well. But that's how it is so far. Um, I need to you know secure this in there. I'll probably JB Weld it in there too. And uh, we'll see what happens. All right, people, here we are a couple days later. Uh, I've been working on this guy off and on. So I didn't film the whole thing because it was a lot of like gathering parts and finding out, you know, what would work and whatnot. But he is almost done. I could still add, you know, the sky's the limit. I could add unlimited little details to him. So I might add a few more little things. But I'll give you a closer look at him. Put some gears in his eyes, um, copper wire up top. This is a uh, brass tubing on a, a s copper sink part. There's the wheels. And uh, I decided to go a different route. Like before this whole body part was actually vertical, going up and down. And uh, I decided to spin it sideways um, just because his head is that way and it, uh, I think it looks a little bit better. So, uh, I also gave him, I mean, this is his gun. <laughs> I think it's pretty awesome. Uh, so that's just kind of screwed on there with some copper wire. So I might still add a few more little things, but I think I'm about ready to add the patina. Okay, I figured I'd film this part. He's just sitting in a bucket. And I'm going to spray him with this solution. This is white vinegar and a little bit of salt. So I'm just going to mist him with it. Try and get him nice and covered. And this will give him a really good rusty look. Alright, so he's pretty much covered. Next, uh, be right back. Alright, now I'm gonna add this. This is ammonia and the smell is pretty strong so I'm gonna open up a window and cover this. And I'm not sh exactly sure what the ammonia does. Uh, this is going off of a YouTube tutorial. I'll put a link to it in the description. Here, I'll give you guys a little bit of a better view. Clear ammonia. Just got it at the local grocery store. It's a couple bucks, just a, a cleaning product. So we'll leave them in there to uh, get a nice, a nice rusty patina. And in a couple hours, we'll come back and check on them. All right, you guys, here we are a couple days later. I had to leave town, so I, I took him out of that solution about two and a half hours afterwards and uh, he's just kind of been chilling here on my desk but check him out I'm I love the colors that came out of that copper just totally turquoise blue 
Um, and here we'll get a closer look at him. You know, this wire up here is copper as well. This uh, gun that I put on there is is a copper sink part. So everything that was copper got this really cool blue color. And uh, these things, I don't know what they're made out of, maybe brass. They didn't really rust, which is fine. Um, this metal attached to them did rust. It got a cool red color out of it. So I really like it. Um, the rust does come off a little bit on your fingers, but I bought a uh, gloss varnish that I'm going to be spraying to seal him. But first, one other thing that I wanted to do, focus back in, I have a uh, an engraving tool, it's like a pin, uh, you push this button and it spins really fast and it has a diamond tip on there so it'll cut through metal and uh, you can use it to engrave your name or whatever on metal and I'm gonna use this to add a few like um, a few little details like maybe little just little spots that make it look like like maybe there were bolts screwed in and uh, stuff like that maybe I'll engrave like a, a serial number on him or something like that so I'm gonna do that and uh, not not entirely sure where I'm gonna put everything yet but uh, I'll let you guys know all right you guys here he is so I didn't do a ton I made some small little marks I put a zero zero one as like his his item number basically cuz he's the first robot I made made some thin lines going down the sides of his face and uh, I also put my initials here on the bottom there's a AS for Andrew Sanders uh, there we go so that's there and that is pretty much it so I'm going to uh, put that clear coat the the gloss varnish on him and that should seal him up and make him look nice and uh, it'll keep the rust off me <laughs> so I'll be back alright so this is just a rust-oleum crystal clear enamel um, stops rust so it should work nicely just gonna give him a good coating of that and we'll rotate this one just like so and uh, I'll probably put on a couple more coats of that all right so here we are a couple hours later um, I added a couple coats of that rust-oleum clear coat and he's nice and shiny and dry so there's a close-up look it's nice and glossy and I really like the way it turned out He's got some gears on his eyes <laughs> and the clear coat coated those very nicely. We'll zoom out a tiny bit. So his wheels still spin which is good that was one thing I was worried about with the clear coat. I thought his wheels might might not work so good after that but it worked out very nicely. So that is my robot. I had fun making him. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, I'll probably be making more of these because I really had a good time designing him. So if you guys have any other ideas on like future robot models let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Man I almost ended the video without checking to see if he works. Alright so all you have to do is push on his right eye for three seconds. Two, three. Alright then just set him down. Oh, he's pretty fast. Oh, looks like his tracking system works too. Oh!